Okay, we're about to begin the uh, pseudocode for this problem. Um, but before we do, let's say the user comes to us and says they want to make a slight modification. They want to see the car model on the output um, in, in addition to the total price. So in our output list, we'd make this slight modification right here. We'd add car model to the list. And we'd also have to come down into the code and we'd have to insert car model into the output statement. So that we're outputting it. There isn't anything else to change in the code. So that was an easy change to make. Sometimes users will request changes while you're trying to do the project. Uh, and sometimes it's extensive. Uh, in those projects, we usually call those a moving target project in that it's very difficult to complete because the user keeps moving what they want. Um, not the best circumstances, but that does happen. Okay, so we've made that change. Now we're into the pseudocode, and we want to change this into a modular solution. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to use uh, a module name for the driver, and we might as well just use auto estimate here since we have it. Seems like a good name for the driver. And I'm going to take the rest of the code down a little bit and come back up and say, okay, the first thing we're going to do in this auto estimate driver module is we're going to get data. And since it's an invoking of a subprocedure, our class standard is to put it all in uppercase. And I'm going to call it get data. It seems appropriate name for it. The next thing we're going to do is to uh, find the car price. In fact, I'm going to use that as the module name. So there's an, another new module name. And all we're doing here is we're separating the tasks of the problem into subtasks at a very high level. So this would be the top of the tree if you're reading about the tree structure of the program in Chapter 4. And after finding the car price, we want to show what those are, show the results. So we're going to show results. It's a generic module name, but uh, and you could use something more specific, show car price or whatever. It certainly does get across the point that it's an output module, and that's what we mainly want to have happen here, is that we know where the output is happening. And that's basically all we have to do, is get data, find the car price, and show the results. So we're going to end the module here.